Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to dress Scar from The Lion King. So come on, let's get started. All right, guys, well, you asked for it, you got it. Today, we're going to draw my favorite of the Disney villains. We're going to draw Scar today. Oh, goody. Yeah, cute. Yes. Well, forgive me for not leaping for joy. Bad back, you know. So let's just dive right on in, huh? All right, guys. So in drawing Scar, start with that circle, right? Then we're going to draw a line down the center. He's going to be looking right at us. He has this very angular face, right? So his eye line is going to be really, really deep in like this. And what I do is from there, I'll draw in uh, almost like a diamond shape right about here. So what this is, is this is his snout and it'll come out like that. Now from there, what I'll do is I will draw in those flared out cheeks. They're not cheeks, what are they? Um, it's that fur that comes off of his jaw, right? Just like this. And then, uh, just like the angles on this, we need to give him a very menacing eye line. Okay, so what I do is I'll throw in a V shape like this. And I'll bring it down like this. I want to make sure it doesn't look too cartoony, but uh, you'll see in a second how this ends up being exactly what you want to do. Okay, his eyes are shaped a lot like this. So we're gonna follow that up like this. And then I wanna make sure that his eyelids are nice and low. He is He's oil slick, right? So the eyelids are down here like this. And then what I like to do is I will figure out his hairline just to get that out of the way. His nose, right about here. His nose comes in like this, rounded up here. But then when you come down here, it's actually very angled, like this. And we've got to really, really emphasize those, those flaring nostrils. Just like this. Uh, let's see. Looks like something else right now. Let's... There we go. So we go straight down to that line that separates his snout and we're going to draw in his mouth like that. Very important that when his mouth is relaxed that he has like this, um, that loose area of lip there like that. So I already see now that I've got to Let's fix that. And then down here is where we give him those chin hairs. When he's grimacing or snarling, um, this snout up here will actually wrinkle up, uh, but he's just kind of relaxed in this sketch. Okay. We will pull down those hairs a little bit, I think. Oh, no, that's it. I found him. I found you. All right. 
sometimes you just gotta throw in some bad lines to find where the good ones go. Just like so. All right. Yeah, that's much better. Let's erase those other ones. Okay. Yes, he's looking good now. Now that I've got those in, his ears... Uh, his ears are almost always relaxed. This guy is a cool customer. He's a bit of a slime ball. <laughs> a bit. So those ears are always relaxed. And because he's rather gaunt, um, they look rather large on his head. If you look at Mufasa's, Mufasa's ears look a whole lot smaller uh, because he has a larger, thicker mane, right? So these ears are very prominent. All right, and now we gotta throw in. Now that the ears are in, we'll throw in his fur. Okay, before I get into that, let's throw in the front. He's got this like almost pompadour kind of front to his to his mane here. And it'll come up like this. Just like that. All right? Scott could use a haircut. Okay. All right, so the hair is rather thick right in here, and then it gets thinner as it slicks back. Um, but let's see. Now that we're doing that, let's throw in a revised head shape in like that. And now we are clear to throw in that mane. Now you want the ears to stick out a little bit beyond the mane, because like I said, he's he's very thin. He's not eating as well as his brother is. So, we're going to make sure, let's see. Yes, just like, beautiful, all right. I actually, I gotta admit to you, I did a Sky video a few months ago and I didn't love it, so I deleted it. Man, was it last summer? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I really wanted to divulge the proper amount of time and energy on the drawing and it just wasn't happening for me that day. So I, I just deleted it. Um, but I've gotten so many requests, especially recently, for Sky. And frankly, you guys really want it that badly. I'm happy to do it. Okay, so now let's go back into the eyes. Okay, now, his eyes are very similar to another Disney villain. His eyes are very reminiscent to Jafar. And there's actually a really good reason for the similarities. He's animated by the same animator Andreas Deja, who is one of my animation heroes. Now, Andreas Deja is responsible for Gaston from Beauty and the Beast, uh, Jafar, Scar, um, and then he switched over to Good Guys when he uh, animated Hercules, and uh, he animated Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Um, and that's just, you know, some of the amazing work he has done for the studio. Uh, but he is a phenomenal draftsman. He took after animation uh, superstar Milt Call back in the heyday of Disney animation. And uh, this guy is just, he's just phenomenal. Okay. I'm gonna give him a nice thick eyebrow. And you notice that I've just drawn in his scar. I wanna make sure that the scar is going to line up if his eye closes, right? 
doing okay. And now we've got do the same on the other side. I want to keep it rather symmetrical. That's why I draw them at the same time. It's very important to kind of mirror reflect when you're drawing when you're drawing characters. If you want your characters to look you know on model, it's always a good idea to draw the eyes at the same time. Now, let's see. Oh god, he's looking like Oh man, what actor is he is this drawing looking like? Hey, listen, if you like drawing with me, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're aware of my next video. If you like drawing this with me, I've got some other videos right over here for you that'll be a good compliment to this one. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me. And until the next video, we'll see you later.